So it's about six o'clock now. Um, we've spent the day, been to town, took the van out down to town and being q um, I put a blind back up in the kitchen, spent some time in the garden with the girls. Um, so we had a nice day pottering about. And now it's time to make some dinner. So tonight we're gonna have courgette noodles with avocado pesto. And this is from the book um, Deliciously Ella from Ella Woodward. And it's quite a nice book, we've used it quite a lot. Um, so I'm gonna make this for dinner. So for this recipe, I'm gonna use four courgettes. Um, it says two dozen chestnut mushrooms, so we've got a box of mushrooms, um, olive oil, a mug of Brazil nuts, so we've got a bag of Brazil nuts, um, four avocados, a um, large handful of fresh mint leaves, so we've got a bag of mint leaves there, a juice of four limes, and salt and pepper. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do with this recipe is um, use the spiralizer to make uh, the noodles out of courgette. So I'm just going to take the top and bottom off the courgette and then push it through the spiralizer. So I've got the first courgette lined up. Um, so the idea with these is you sort of push it towards the blades and turn the handle and it sort of creates long loopy noodles out of the courgette. So that's the first courgette done. So you get these really cool long strands of courgette. So that's all the courgettes through the spiralizer now. Um, so now I'm gonna move on to the mushrooms and just slice them up and then put them in a pan. Then while the uh, mushrooms are cooking in the pan, um, I've got the food processor and I'm just going to put the Brazil nuts in there and chop them all up into little bits. Next up is um, cutting up the uh, avocados and putting that in the food processor. So I just mixed the um, avocado a little bit just to reduce the size. And now I'm gonna add four tablespoons of olive oil and a handful of minced leaves. And I'm just gonna add the juice of four limes. So everything's ready now. We've got the courgette noodles, um, the mushrooms have been heated, and we've got the sauce that's been blended up. Um, so I'm just gonna put everything into the pan and just warm it through slightly, um, and then it's ready to serve. John's dinner has the big vote of approval from me. It was really yummy and he's amazeballs. So we are yet it all. <laughs> what are you doing, John? Um, I'm being forced to make apple crumble. You're being forced? Yes. Why are you being forced? Because <laughs> you're pushing apple crumble on me. I'm not, just that those apples are going out of date. And what book are you referencing, please? I'm, I'm using the... the archaic cookery year reader's digest classic mm. which is so old it's even faded the name off yes that's because my mum had that. if you look at the date in it it's from the 70s my <laughs> my mum gave me that book when i moved out into my own home with you oh, it's that? like a yes but it's still one of the best isn't it oh. for like traditional but, recipes yeah. yes 
Totally bogarting John's vlog. Yeah. <laughs> Got some very sleepy bunnies after being out in the garden today. Hello, Flo. Say hello. Flo and Stinker Bunny, say hello. If you don't know, because you don't, John doesn't show them on his vlogs, this is Florence Tinkerbell, that's Nibbles McNally, and that one there is Luna Petunia Macaroon. <laughs> We've also got guinea pigs. Hello, guineas. This one here is Bay Cupcake Bumblebee, and that one there, you can't really see very well because she's in the shadows, is Betty Spaghetti Hoops. <coughs> Say hello to everybody on John's vlog, on Daddy's vlog. Say hello. Say hello to everybody on Daddy's vlog. Now, why aren't you talking? Okay, don't want to do any talking. But I do want to get Snuggy Snuggy. Come on then. <laughs> do want to get Snuggy Snuggy. <laughs> That's how it, everyone's rolling in this house. Bah! <laughs> I'm sorry, that did require a raw moment then. <laughs> mm.